Lesson 119, solving trig equations. Use algebra. Okay, so we've got to use a lot of algebra on this. Uh, here's an example. In fact, that's all I have are examples. Sine theta plus 2 equals 2 sine theta plus 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. And I'm going to subtract sine theta as if it were a variable. So I have negative 1 equals sine theta. So basically you look and you see on your unit circle everywhere where sine is negative 1 and that's at 270 degrees and then every 270 degrees all the way around the circle. So 270 degrees plus 360n, where n is any integer. So you can write it like this. Theta equals, in braces, 270 degrees plus 360 degrees n, such that n is contained in the natural numbers. Wait, integers, sorry. Integers that means integers. integers. Up. Up. Uh, okay. Why did I write quadratic? Oh, that's because my next example says 3 tangent squared x minus tangent x equals 2 tangent squared x minus 2 tangent x. And we want between 0 and 360 degrees. That way we don't have to add the end on the, the end on the end. So we need to get it in quadratic form. So we subtract 2 tangent squared, so we get tangent squared x. We add 2 tangents, tangents of x, so tangent x going to equal 0. You can factor out a tangent x and you get tan x plus 1 equals 0. So basically tangent of x could be 0 or tangent of x could be negative 1. So we have cos over sine. So it's 0 degrees or 180 degrees is when the tangent is 0. And then tangent's negative 1 at uh, 135 degrees and 315 degrees. And those are all the times that this will be between 0 and 360 when this will be true. That's the end of that lesson.